Hi everybody and welcome back to another edition of SNG Now, our weekly show that shows you life around the studio and all the things we're doing around here, which this week is a lot of the same that we were doing last week, but it's always interesting and you can learn much more about it if you go to our Patreon account and become a patron of the arts at SNG Studios. It would only cost you $3 a month, 50 cents a day. And after 10 cents a day. I was going to say after five weeks, I finally got it, but I didn't. So we always have a giveaway every week. Uh, no, once a month. <laughs> All right, back up. We have a giveaway once a month to our subscribers. We never know what it's going to be. It could be a finished model. It could be a prop. It could be Mr. Spock's ears. That's right. This month, we're giving away, these will be painted, these are raw out of the molds, but these are actual castings of Leonard Nimoy's actual ears from Star Trek The Motion Picture I did back in 1978. I still have the molds. And these are made out of silicone. They're silicone copies for display. You can't wear them. Uh, but they're going to be encased in a letterbox shaped uh, shadow box with a picture of him wearing the ears and signed by yours truly because I'm the one that did these and that's going to be our giveaway for uh, later on this month in February. So if you join us, $3 a month, 10 cents a day, <laughs> you, can, you can be part of that. Uh, and next month, the month after that, will be another really interesting surprise because we do it different all the time. What we've been doing this week is we started on uh, Discovery, the Mobius Discovery, which just came out. We've only been waiting 50 years for this <clears throat> darn model to be made. For us loyal 2001 A Space Odyssey fans who think that it's one of the best movies and most important movies, most brilliant movies ever made to this day. Uh, I've started working on the, uh, on the, I guess you would call us the command module, but uh, the main part of the ship, the ball. And you see, this was first, not Star Trek. And, uh, and you diehard Star Trek fans will know what ship I'm talking about. Uh, George, what ship am I talking about? Discovery? No, the Daedalus class. Oh, I'm... <laughs> Which had a round ball just like this. So, um, I've been putting parts together on finding out the good things and the bad things about the kit. Ultimately, they're good, all good. I just didn't like the way that they have the doors, part of the inner uh, bevel of the door. So in order to get this door removed, you have to actually cut the door out and then put this ring piece back in. Um, the other thing is, is they do not have an interior with this model. So uh, rather than wait, for Paul's paragraphics, which are really good, and I highly encourage you to get those uh, photo etched parts of his, but because they're not available, they're back ordered or something, no one has them. I just don't have the time to wait. So what I did is I made my own. I do that. Uh, and, and that's the floor for it. And this is the, I work from pictures uh, and we got a pretty darn neat interior it's not done yet. We're just now starting to make the workstation with the Howl where they tested the AE35 unit and Howl was puzzled because there was nothing wrong with it. And you know what that led to. My friend Gary Lockwood being killed by the damn thing. So, uh, and that's right, we had Gary Lockwood here uh, Tuesday uh, visiting and we never thought to get video. But I promise you next time he's here, we'll get his mug on camera. He spent most of the day here, told us the most amazing stories. I would love to share with you sometime. Uh, so this will, of course, all fit inside of here, like so. And we'll have an interior in there, which would be really nice. In addition to all that, we're going to add the ramp coming out, and we're going to have the pod sitting out here. So you're really not going to see that much inside. Uh, so I am already have more detail than I really need, but it's kind of nice knowing it's all in there. So the pot will be sitting out here, the pot will be lit up, and we also have to put the flight deck in, which I'm going to do. You'll see the two seats sitting up and some of the interior, and if uh, I can figure out a way to do it, I might have like um, 
Well, actually, there wouldn't be anybody sitting up there because at the point in the film that I'm building this model to is the point where Dave is going out to save Frank Poole. So this will just be nobody else in there. So, but it's a great model. It's a decent size. I wish it was bigger, but it's, it's, it's pretty good size. There's a heck of a lot of parts. And I mean, I mean, this thing's a stack of, of plastic. Huh? But really, there's not a lot of lights on it and stuff, so it goes together pretty fast. They also give you uh, the metal for the, to go through the spine uh, and a pretty nifty kind of base that I think I might actually use. So um, you'll be able to read, oh God. So you'll be able to watch all about this model being built uh, if you join us on Patreon. So, uh, of course, Voyager is still being worked on. Uh, there's going to be more on that, and we are, to my Patreon subscribers, going to be doing another, it'll be part six, and that will be, we'll cover uh, seaming this, uh, finishing the paint job, and putting the decals on. So that's what's going to be coming up next week. Uh, George has been working all kinds of things, right, George? And oh, yes, because of our exhibit, sort of mini convention, for the 50th anniversary of my favorite movie, once again, 2001, we're building a lot of models. Uh, we're going to build a 12-foot uh, actual studio-sized monolith. Um, these are, uh, this is going to be taken apart, molded, so we can make some figurines that are posable with a clear visor on the helmet for a couple dioramas we're going to do. We're going to put this together for a diorama. Uh, and this model kit here is, of course, the famous lunar models model of the Clavius base suit uh, with, with the early man on the other side of the monolith where they're both touching the monolith. The apes on one side, human on the other. This will be cast and uh, uh, make a little mold on it. We're going to pour them hollow and actually have a clear visor and a person's head inside, which is something I've been wanting to do ever since Bob Burns gave me this kit. God, back in the 90s, early 90s at that. So. I want to introduce JP, right? I got your name right, didn't I? Who is the mother of this big guy here, James. Yes. So, <laughs> she came to visit us today, and uh, we really like having you here. Thanks for coming. Thank you, it's been absolutely a pleasure. And you, you're good, you want to join us from time to time and do artistic things? Oh, can I? That would be wonderful. <laughs> Thank you for the permission. Okay. It. Yes, you have a happy studio. Oh, well, thanks for letting us have your son. Oh, thank you for having him. Here yeah. Person. Oh, he's great. He's great. Yeah. Now get to work. Now I'm just, <laughs> yeah, really. George, George is still working on a travel pod and you'll see uh, there's uh, uh, Scotty and the captain and you'll notice Raul, I know you're watching, they are no longer shiny little toys. They actually have been dulled down. They look really, really great. George will have this soon. Uh, we have the new improved connector on the base going on this type that comes up and screws in and it's very strong and George did a very nice job on it. So, so I've been making up an Iron Giant for a friend. He wanted a bus so we've been working on that too and I've been pouring up parts for it today. You know, here's the, here's the head, the inside of the mold which has been rotocast. So we have a pretty smooth, nice piece here. Um, this is uh, the chin and this is the neck over here, which you already took out of the mold. And I think just for fun, we'll uh, pull this out of the mold. What do you think, James? I think that might be fun. It might be fun. <laughs> I did this kind of a different way. That's the mother mold, which is 1630. And this is the 1065 silicone I get from Berman's. And we're going to release this. Now, I did a laminate combination of uh, 808 BJB, two-part polyurethane, resin and 16 BJB 1630 resin to make this up. And hopefully I can do this quickly. Otherwise, you'll get bored on me. Never. Never? <laughs> okay, maybe one of them. You just, you just want to see it come out bad so I get mad and throw things around the room. Hey, you said it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this looks perfect, so. You don't get that. Ah. <laughs> Looks great. No, oh wow, this is really lightweight too, because the other ones in the past were, were much heavier. So, yeah, that worked very successful. It's very strong. Of course, I have to trim off all this stuff, 
Why don't we open up the head, too? I mean, I feel like it's, it's like Christmas. <laughs> so that mold goes back in there. It gets filed under, done. Um, this head should be ready to open. The first one came out a little warped. Um, that's very light. So I can open this up like this. Okay. See, that's a good dent. Yes. Isn't that cool? Good dent. <laughs> good dent. Well, as Adam Savage said, I asked him, I said when I was making this, do you want this with the dent in it? And he wrote back, dent, dent, dent. <laughs> so anyway, that came out really nice. A few little bad spots in the mold that are easily corrected. So, so we got the head. Uh, it was there. And we got the chin. This is the last part. That needs to go back together. And uh, hopefully, hopefully this came out good too. The molds are getting old. And when they get old, I start getting bad parts. So, so busting it out of the mold here. And it should have a chin in here. Yep, yeah, looks like a chin. Lots of flash to get rid of, but it's good. So now we got all the parts for an Iron Giant. And uh, it goes like that. And we got the the base, so we're all set, and that's how we do that. So that's gonna do it for this week. Uh, I don't think there's anything I've missed. Oh yes, one last little thing. <laughs> I have this wonderful model I've had for a while of the Batmobile. And this, as you can see, is a slot car. So uh, I've been meaning for the longest time to, to build this, and I've been working on it, uh, getting a nice gloss paint job on it and getting it to fit right, which of course it's not really doing right now. Let's see, yes, 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 there it goes. So now it fits really good and the, the wheels turn and the, the uh, tires turn. It was a very poor fitting kit, so I had to do a lot of work on it to get this to work right and then run on the track. But now that it does, got a nice gloss coat on it, I'm gonna start adding all the other parts next week and of course I'm gonna light it up. Can't tell you how much we appreciate you, all your support. We love you a whole bunch, and we'll see you next week for more fun, I promise. <laughs>